How's it going guys? I'm Scott Wright, Director of Curva Coach in England and Wales, and this is Curva Rex, and this is a special episode for the women's Euros here in England. We're gonna get straight into the sessions. We're gonna to start to show you now the ball mastery moves and the game moves that we're gonna use in the session. This is Georgie, we ready Georgie? Here we go then. So ball mastery move number one is just toe tap. So very simple, one foot either side of the ball. You're going to get your feet as close to the ball as you can. So actually you can start by jogging on the spot. Then we're just touching the ball now. So the closer the feet, the more repetition that we're getting. Ready to have a go, Georgie? So if you come in here, look, in just this line. Perfect. Ready, you're going to count down from 10 with your toe taps. Ready, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. Fantastic. So what we've now got then for ball mastery move two is pull push with the laces. So we're going to be pulling back and pushing forward with the laces, making sure we point the toes right down to the ground so we've got a big surface. So pull, push, pull, push. Then we get that little rhythm, pull, push in each time. Are we ready? Count you down from two, uh, from ten, Georgie, even. Ready? Go. Ten, nine, eight, Seven, great stuff. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic work, Georgie, love it. So now ball mastery move three is gonna be combining one and two together. So we've now got toe tap, pull pushes with the laces. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You got it? Count you down again from 10 seconds. Ready, go. 10. Nine, good rhythm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great work, Georgie. So into the game move section now. So this is going to be about being really good in game play, being able to create time and space for yourself when you block by an opponent. So we're going to start off with something called the side step. So this is where you would have a defender in front or behind. This is called a feint. In the, uh, in the curve of program. So we're gonna take a outside right foot touch. And you treat this now like a fake outside of the foot pass with the right foot. And it's touch, side step, touch, side step, touch, side step, touch, side step. So I've got nice soft knees. I'm over the top of the ball for balance. You ready, Georgie? Count me down from 10. Ready, go. 10, nine, eight, good. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and relax there. Game move two now is also a feint, and this is called the scissors. So this time now, we're gonna use the outside of the foot to go around the inside of the ball. So again, it's an outside right foot touch. Now, in the game, that's about moving the opponent that's in front. I'm using the right foot, the outside of it, with a nice low foot around the inside of the ball. I'm now gonna push the ball off into that space I would have created, so it's touch, scissors, touch, Scissors, touch, scissors, touch, scissors. Okay, you got it? Carry down from 10. Ready, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good girl. And then game move three is combining game move one and two together. So what I've now got is my side step side step, scissors, scissors. Show you from the front as well. Side step, side step, scissors, scissors. Nice low foot around the ball. Okay, you got it. When we get into the sets, we're gonna be thinking and talking about scanning so you can see things on the pitch. Okay, we ready now? Let's go, play. 10, nine, eight, good. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Black said, Georgie, high five. Great work. So that's our warm up for this curve rec session. We're now going to get into the set. We're going to be working in a 30 30 round. So this is it now, guys. We're going to get into the sets. We're going to work for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds. And it's your job at home to work as hard and as fast as you can to get the very most out of this session. The timer's coming on now. So we've got 30 seconds before we get into it. 
So remember, all we're doing to start with is we have toe tap. So it's very simple, one foot either side of the ball. Keep your feet as close together as you can. Nice soft knees. We're firing as fast as we can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're counting as fast as we can with the toe tap. So your challenge at home and also for Georgie to see how many touches we can make. Georgie, you ready? Let's play, let's go. Exercise. So once we get into it, so the feet are nice and close together, we've got nice soft knees, the eyes start to come up. We just start to think about we're in possession of the ball. Can we see teammates? Can we see opponents? Can we see space? Great start, George, you're about halfway. Have we got another gear to go into? Can we step it up a bit? Off we go. Here we go, coming down to five seconds. Five, four, finish it strong. Last three seconds, can we go up another gear? Yes. Good, fantastic work, Georgie. So remember what we're doing now is going into the pull push with the laces. So again, we've got this little movement. So just make sure that you're pointing your toes right down to the ground and it creates a really big surface on the laces of your foot. So you've got good control over the ball. So same again, make sure we're counting at home and also here, how many can we get? Here we go. Ready, Georgie? Let's play. Exercise. Good, what a great start. We're off, what have we got? Almost 10 seconds. So again, once you get into the rhythm, we're starting to think about bringing those eyes up. That's really, really important when we're practicing ball mastery to link it to the game. We've got to be able to see what's going on on the pitch to make the right decisions when we're in possession of the ball. Who am I going to pass to? Where's the press coming from? Where's the space? Where are the goals we're attacking or defending? Good, and rest there, great job. Okay, ball mastery move three now, Georgie, is the combo of the first two, okay? So we've got your toe tap. So we're in one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All good? Here we go, 10 seconds. Breathe it in. If you're working really, really hard at home, your heart rate should be up by now. So it's about getting out of breath after each, each set. Okay, ready? Let's go. Exercise. Can we be out of breath by the time the timer finishes? That's when you know you're working super hard. Good stuff, Georgie. Here we go, that's 10 seconds down. So a little combo, ball mastery move, one and two added together. So this is starting to test you now. So you're using the inside of the foot, you're using the sole, you're using the laces, different parts of the foot that you can use when you go into gameplay. So we've got five seconds left. Finish it strong when we hear that beat. Can we go up a gear, Georgie? What have we got? Rest there. Great job. Really, really good. So we're into game move one now. So remember what we've got is the side steps. So this is a game move. This is the faint defender in front or behind. So it's touch. It's like a fake outside of the foot pass. Touch, side step. Imagine you've, almost, you've got a teammate overlapping you. Yeah? and it's a fake outside of the foot pass. If it looks like a pass, the defender in front is going to be unbalanced, and that's what you want. Exercise. Good. They're going to engage with you. Good, Georgie. What have we got? We're off to a great start. So I've got nice, soft knees. I'm in full control of the ball. Imagine that defender in front, but this could also be used with the defender behind as well. You could have your back to goal and you're looking to create space for yourself to shoot. 10 seconds left. Good. Five. Can we finish strong? Good girl. Finish it. Yes. Love that. Absolutely flying, Georgie. High five on that one. Well done. Great job. So this time now then, we've got another feint, which is the scissors. Outside of the foot, around the inside of the ball. So keeping those touches tight. And then we're in, we've got that little movement. So I fake the defender one way and I push off to the space into the other. Okay, we ready? So again, this can also be moved defender in front or use defender in front or behind. Here we go, how many can we get? Ready, play, Exercise. go. There's one, there's two. Make sure you're counting at home. Good, great start. I've got nice soft knees. The eyes start to come up. Remember, that's really, really important. We want you to make good decisions when you go onto the pitch. Here we go. Good, we're firing it nice and sharp. Last 10 seconds. Remember when we hear that beat for the three seconds, we need to go up a gear. Can we finish it strong? Here it comes, Georgie. Now we go. Last three, finish it, fire it. Good. Good girl, fantastic. And then finally, here we go. 
the last set. We've got game move three. Side step, touch, side step, touch, scissors, touch, scissors. So remember, you've got that defender in front. That little touch moves the defender and balances. And we're now moving off into the space. And the same uh, purpose for both of those moves. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Side step, side step, scissors, scissors. Ready, play. Exercise. Good. The first part of that moves for the defender. That little touch is what's going to move the defender out of the space you want to move into. It's going to engage them. It's going to unbalance them. And that second touch away is how we move off into the space. Good, Georgie. Keep going. Last 10 seconds. This is it. Have we got another gear to go up in? Make sure we're scanning. We've got five seconds left on the beep. Can we go up a gear? Can we finish it strong? What have we got? And relax. A double high five for that one. Great work, Georgie. So that's that set done. We're now going to get into the Curve Rex Challenge. Here we go then, guys. This is Curve Rex time. This is my favorite part of the session. And this is your opportunity to test yourself at the end of this session. What we're going to do is combine ball mastery move one and two with game move one and two to create a sequence. You have to perform as many times as you can, as fast as you can in 30 seconds. The timer is coming on, Georgie. We've got 30 seconds until we're going to kick this off. So remember what we've got in here, we've got toe tap, so it's one, two, pull, push. What you're now looking to do then is push off into those side steps and you're going off into the scissors and then you're going to start back with the toe taps, pull, push, and we're running back through that sequence. Have you got it? So we're working on toe tap, pull, push with the laces, side steps and scissors. Here we go. Exercise. What can we get? Good. Great stuff, Georgie, love that. Nice low foot around the ball and we start again. So that's one for Georgie. What can we get? There we go, well done, well remembered, well recovered. And this is gonna happen, this is not easy. As we're getting tired, and this is why curve rec sessions are really good for building up your technical fitness or your technical conditioning. 10 seconds left. What have we got? Can we finish it strong? I think that was three. Can we get, can we finish it? Can we finish it? Yes! Georgie, you got four. Really well done. So that wraps up today's Curve Rec session. On behalf of myself, Georgie, Curver Coaching, our global partner, Adidas, and our sponsor, ProDirect Soccer, thanks for taking part in today's Curve Rec session, and we'll see you next time. To be in with a chance to win some fantastic prizes from our global partner, Adidas, all you have to do is film yourself in action, post to social media, making sure to tag in at CurverEW, hashtag CurverX, hashtag WEuros2022. We look forward to seeing you in action.